Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd share with you um, a reorganisation and uh, re well, a decorating of my kids' bedroom. Um, so I have a eight-month-old and a five-year-old and they both share. Um, so when my son probably turns one, we are convert um, put him, but putting him in a big bed and getting rid of the cocks. The cot is quite small and he is growing at an alarming rate, but we didn't think he was quite ready to come out of the cot yet. Um, so once he turns one in November, we'll probably be um trying to buy a new bed for him. Anyway, for now, we decided to redecorate the bedroom as um, both kids are away at their grandparents. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have had childcare for this week um, while I'm at work. So I decided to start painting their room. So at least like the fumes, of the paint would have been gone by the time they come back. So if you do like this sort of video, please obviously do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you over here. I do try and upload three videos a week um, in a mix of cleaning motivation videos, mum videos, cooking videos. So to start with in the bedroom, I um, started by clearing all the toys and the extra bits around the ha um, the room. Um, so toys, um, excess clothes that are on top of drawers. And then I did start to take out all the shelving units. My plan originally was to take everything out of the room apart from the chest of drawers, the wardrobe, cot and bed um, and then put it in the centre of the room and work around it and sort of work in one big um, so I could go around in uh, one go um, but unfortunately I overestimated how much room the rest of the furniture was going to take and being able to get the ladder round so in the end I had to go wall by wall so I started um, with the wall with the uh, main door on just because it had um, some blue paint testers my daughter originally wanted a blue in her room but because we're renting we needed sort of a neutral light blue and the two neutral light blues that we sort of went with were very dark and you could see them a lot um so i decided to go with plain white and then put um later put in like load of blue accessories and decorations around the room so um i started by um for most of the all the areas sorry um i started by hoovering all the floor making sure i had a majority of the um, dust and any um, bits on the floor off so then I did after that I decided to put masking tape around the bottom of the wall and then also laid down the plastic sheets that we had to stop paint getting on the carpet and once I had done that I cleaned the walls with the um, sugar wash um, on the walls and took off a lot of dirt with this. Um, once I had done this, I started to cut in the edges with um, a paintbrush. And I did just go in with the paintbrush. I didn't go around putting masking tape on absolutely everything. Um, once that had been done, I started putting the paint on the wall. But I did hit a small problem. Our big paint... Um, our big roll I had actually broke so I found a small one just to sort of start us out with because I couldn't be bothered to go to the shops being that I had just got started so I used a small paint roller um, all the way around the room and it probably did take me a lot longer to get the room painted with this small paint brush uh, paint roller sorry 
Um, but in the end, it did obviously do the job. And one bit that I did forget to record was when we got to, um, when I got to the painting of the woodwork round, like the skirting and the door frames, I didn't actually paint, um, record that, but I did actually paint all the door frames and the, um, uh, skirting.
once I had finished all the painting, I had started to sort out all the um, toys in her room and finding places for everything. Um, we did decide to put my daughter on a top bunk in the end. Um, so temporarily, our plan is we have now decided to um, get a mattress for underneath for the Ikea bed. Um, so they've both got a mattress each. So my son will be on the bottom, hoping that when he turns one, he's only going to be like uh, the width of the mattress off the floor. So he won't be too bad. Um, he hopefully won't fall out of bed too much. Um, but he doesn't really move to the side of the cot in the night, but he hasn't obviously got a lot of room because it's a very thin cot. Um, it was one that my mum gave us um, that my sister used to sleep in a long time ago. Um, and then once that is under the bed, the Calax unit that is under the bed at the moment will be going into the corner where my son's um, cot is. But we decided um, we're going to do like a little play area there. Um, there is still a lot of like little decorations that we want to add which we're going to add at a late today it was just that we wanted to get the room painted and I've just gone back to work after maternity so we've got a few bills to pay um in that regard before we actually go and buy a few new things um but otherwise we were quite pleased with how it turned out in the end um, so we did add some little strips of light a lot of her space um planets have gone back on the wall because she absolutely loves space but we are trying to keep the room sort of neutral uh, but when my daughter actually goes uh when my daughter and my son um are going in the bunk bed together we're going to have um the top area sort of to what my daughter likes like princesses mermaids space and then um underneath my son will have his own sort of personalized space so, um whether it's going to be dinosaurs cars at the moment he's um really loving dougie um so they have their own personalized space but then the rest of the room will be a sort of gender neutral um sort sort of uh images and um, decorations anyway I hope you have enjoyed this video please do obviously give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this and I will see you in the next video